Hello folks, time for another video and shave. All right, so this is a continuation sort of of the awesome care package that my subscriber and buddy Bill sent me. Um, he sent me a few soaps and I shaved with the uh, PAA, the beach the other day, which was awesome. Another soap that he sent me, um, which I wasn't even on the radar for me. Um, it's from Razor Emporium, and it's their sandalwood. Now, the little bit of research I did, um, Razor Emporium um, is making this soap themselves. I fear that maybe a third party would be making it for them, but they're making it all themselves. Now, I'm very familiar with Razor Emporium because I have the Rex Ambassador, which comes from Razor Emporium. It's a very light scented soap. It kind of reminds me of something else, but I haven't lathered it yet. It's in my bowl. Um, and I'm going to be using the Rex Ambassador today. Um, I'm going to be starting off on number three. And the blade I put in here today, I just replanted some of my Gillette Platinums right there. And it's weird because my original Gillette Platinums were like laser etched, but these actually have the dark black writing on them, kind of like the Astros used to have. If you can see there in the package, see there. There's already a blade in there, so I don't want to take it apart at the moment. So we'll see how they shave. Um, I haven't, I haven't lathered it yet. It's actually been soaking a little bit here. Um, I've been in the shower. There's a bit of water in there. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, pour some of this water out. And use it as a pre-shave. It feels pretty slick. I think I looked up a few videos on the soap and they've gotten pretty good reviews. And out of the, I guess is out of the container, um, the scent, the sandalwood scent is there, but it's very, very mild. It smells like almost like a barber shop. Kind of a sandalwood. But we'll see when I lather it if the properties of it change as far as scent wise. Now, brush today, I'm going to be using my Craving Shaving brush, which has been soaking and has that Fanturian knot in them with those awesome gel tips. So you could either fast forward this section or go grab a snack. <laughs> I got some of that soap on my bowl and made it really slick. And I'll lather this up to see. It's uh it's not a super hard soap, but it was pretty uh it was pretty pretty stiff in the container. Nothing that my little soap scrapers couldn't take out. And it is the weekend, so happy weekend folks. We're still into this quarantine deal here. You know, this scent is kinda now that I'm lathering it. It kind of reminds me of something that's very familiar. Oh, I know what that smells like. I mean, it's not a 100% match, but I definitely smell a scent like this. And something else I have. a matter of fact, it's sitting right out here because it's always out here for me. It has a hint of PAA's Club Guy, I think. The club glass is a little bit stronger, but yeah, it has that pretty much same scent in that realm of scent there. Because Club Guy is supposed to be an homage to uh, Clubman, but to me, Club Guy smells like a barbershop. Which this is, this has got sandalwood in it. Um, I'll pop up the, pro the scent profile and the ingredients now. Bink. And you can just take a quick look. It's not very extensive on their website. Um, I think the soap is around $12 or $14. It's very affordable. You get four ounces. And it whips up rather quick. I mean, I've only been really lathering this up for only like, you know, maybe 30, 40 seconds or so. And it's already got nice peaky lather going on there. I'm probably going to have some left un 
unmix soap in the bottom of the bowl and I'm done because I put a ton in there. I took my scraper and I scraped out a big chunk came out, so I just went with it. All right, so we'll leave it like this for now. It looks nice in there, nice and peaky. I won't drown it. I can always add water when I'm putting it on my face. I got that pre-shave on there, or the, not the pre-shave, but the bloom water. Or the soak water, whatever the correct term is. I do have that little weeper from the other day that's still there. Hopefully I won't crack that open. Hope everybody had a good week. We're still in, you know, social distancing mode here, so. Alright, so this is uh, Razor Emporium's Sandalwood. Lots of pretty warm water in that bowl. This lather's nice and warm. Yeah, the scent opens up when you lather it. Not like super duper like powerful scent. It's there. I do smell the sandalwood. But it's more of a barbershop -y kind of sandalwood. Which is good. It's not an overpowering scent. You know, the lather is good. It's nice and frothy there. Let's see, they're hanging off there. <laughs> yeah, I figure since I'm using a Razor Emporium soap, might as well use a Razor Emporium razor with the old Rex Ambassador. Well, I've been hitting this eyebrow a lot lately. Hmm. Oh, you know what also came in? I'll shine a little bit. Let me just do a little lather maintenance there. But what came in was dun 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 the Lancaster. Razor Works shaving towel. Oh, it's so plush. I washed it when it first came in because I actually read the directions on the back of the package it came in. It says you should wash it before the first use. I'm glad I actually did because I hand washed it in my sink and uh, with some wool light. And there was, uh, I guess, some residual dyes that came off. So it's good to wash it. Follow the directions there. No fabric softener. So, that's a little mess up the microfiber cloth. But yeah, it's an awesome towel. Um, I'm not really like trying to sell a towel, but it was like, I think, $15 or $16. And with shipping from Etsy, it was like $21. he's always out of them because he gets such a high demand. But I'll put the link down in the description. All right, Rex Ambassador. Gillette Platinum Blade on its first use. And I'm on number three. Let's see if you can see that right there, the three. And there's that blade gap. If you can see it, I don't even know if you can see it. Alrighty. Yeah, I watched a few videos on the soap because I was like, I know Razor Emporium had soaps, but I really wasn't familiar with them at all. I think they make five or six soaps but when Bill sent this one to me in that awesome care package he sent me I was like hey it's first time I opened the container I really didn't get any scent and then when I scraped some out to put it in my bowl I got hit with that little bit of sandalwood And a little bit of that, like, barbershop scent. I believe I saw on their website they do make an aftershave splash. Matching aftershave splash and balm.
Gotta love this razor. The craftsmanship on this razor is just beyond excellent. I am so lucky. that I was sent this razor by two awesome gentlemen. Which their names will be kept in secrecy. But they are part of the Red Beard Shave Lounge. That's all I'll tell you about that. You guys know who you are. Wow, my wife got a loud voice. Saturday morning. I hear her out there barking orders to somebody, probably my son. Probably saying, get up already. <laughs> oh my God, so my parents are back from Florida, right? Now, I installed an Apple TV on their TV like, oh, years ago, <laughs> which he's never, which my parents have never used because they're just not technical. My father was a football coach his entire life, so technology wasn't his bag but anyway he calls me early this morning and he's like can i get youtube on this thing and i'm like sure but uh <laughs> trying to get him to go to the right input on the tv and then to use the apple tv remote wow that was a adventure for me especially since i really wasn't awake that yet when he called me so Anyway, back to the soap. The residual slickness is... Mm, it's there, but it's not like it's liquid lightning or anything. It seems to be okay, but... Got plenty of soap in the bowl. Might as well utilize it, right? Yeah, it's very, to me, now this is just to my nose, because everybody's nose is different, is it's very reminiscent of the club guy from PAA. Now I know that Razor Emporium makes the soap themselves, so I don't know if Douglas from PAA had any kind of collaboration on the soap. But boy, it really smells, when you lather it, it really kind of picks up that, to me my nose picks up that club guy scent. Which I love. So I'm just going to chalk it up as a very nice sandalwood barbershop. A scent. Which is actually going to change the end of my post shave a little bit. Because I'm going to do something different than what I, what I was going to use. That's a nice... Uh, Nice cushion on it, it feels like. Feels pretty good on the face. A little against the grain, so we're gonna keep this on. You know, let me bump this up a little bit. I like to sometimes go higher on second passes because I have less. They go, why are you going higher when you have less less stuff on your face, less less stubble? Because just to get that closer shade, I'm gonna bump this up to four and a half. Might be a mistake, but hey. You live and learn. I think I just hit that spot again. Yeah, I did. The one I was trying to avoid. <laughs> I know when I get it because I get that little bit of sting, like a bee sting. So, so I did. I did get that again. My fault. I 
I was trying to avoid that spot there, but hey, you know. And I open up that again too. Jeez, Glenn. Looks like we'll have Mr. Alum come to the rescue. Because they're not major. Next, they're just little guys there. I kind of forgot about that one from last time that was there, but hey. What are you going to do, right? Wasn't Soap's fault, that was mine because I knew I had that there and I just kind of forgot. That's okay, it's not like it's gushing like a geyser. So I got the soap in the ear. It's like this is, you know, pretty decent, but it's not like it's off the charts. I forgot to ask Bill if he didn't like this soap or if he just had multiples. Look at that one. That one's going to town. So might as well shave over it 20 times. <laughs> I think I'm, uh, except for the two red dots on my neck and right there and right there. But that was from previous and I opened them and I knew they were there. And I'm pretty, uh, I'm pretty good. The spot that I usually make sure I get a lot is right here and right here because... That sometimes is annoying to me, so I'm just going to hit that with some lather. Just to hit those spots one more time. I'm actually going to crank it up to six because I'm crazy. Six. <laughs> oh, hear that nice feedback. See that red coming through? Ooh! All right. Yeah, so I put that on six for that little last clip right there. And oh, yeah. So your number six definitely got it. Good stuff. All right. Just going to drain the old sea monster sink. Soaking wet as usual. Not going to use the old Lancaster towel for that. Use my tip of my usual sink towel here that keeps me dry for when I dump all that water like a dummy on my counter. Wow, that one's that one's going good. Don't worry, we'll hit that up with some alum. All right, gonna drain the sea monster sink. Got to wait for what the sea monster says because now it's its own star. Here comes the sea monster has spoken. All right, so do the cold water rinse on the face. Look, this is, you know, like this is not off the charts, but it's, uh, it's there. Wow, my 
shirt is definitely extra soaked today. All right, so I'm not gonna dry my face because I'm gonna use the alum right there. All right, so I'm just gonna wet the alum stick. It's the Omega um stick and it's running down the face now. See, that's usually the most drastic that'll happen to me because I'm on blood thinners, but I don't let that scare me. You know, unless I get like a really deep cut, I'll break out the Parasso gel that I have. Which originally I bought that on Maggots, and I wanted to pick up a second one, but when I went back to pick it up in the future, it they no longer carried it, and I think now I can only get it, I think, on eBay. Sorry, let the sink run in there. The sea monster was thirsty. Well, the rest of my face feels great. I don't have any really sting or feedback except for right there, where I open that up again like a dummy. And on top of my chin, which... I popped that last time I was shaving and I forgot about it. But yeah, you know, hey. It's Saturday and all this video is going to go long, but I'm in no rush and you guys can always fast forward to these boring parts. Alright. So that was the old Omega alum stick. I've had this alum stick for like over a year. It's getting down. I do have another one ready to go, but it's, uh, it's getting there. It's getting to the bottom. And I just leave the cap on it very lightly when I, when I let it dry. Else if you put your alum stick or block away wet, it'll start to grow like a science project. It gets kind of crystally and it's got some like that white residue on there. So always let it air dry, wipe it off pretty good. Well, we'll see what happens with these two guys here. These two little weeps. They weren't really nicks because I had them prior. So that was just me not paying attention. Okay. So that was Razor Emporium Sandalwood. A very light sandalwood. So if you're, if you know, like, like I grew up, not grew up, but I mean, for like 10 plus years, I was using Tobbs uh, Sailor. Sailor? Tobbs makes a sailor. I, I was using Taylor Vol Bond Street's sandalwood which is a heavy duty sandalwood. This is nice and mild sandalwood. Like you just, it's not like a boom hits in the face. It's like, it's definitely there, but it's not like, hey, I'm Mr. Sandalwood. And like it says, it it has a hint of club guy from PA. In my own, my own opinion, which, you know, I could be whacked out of my mind with my way my nose works, but hey, that's what I smell. Okay, and I use the awesome Rex Ambassador today. I don't know if you can see that there. That logo. There's no overhang on this razor, so I can actually hold it like that. The Rex Ambassador. First I started on three, then I went up and I wound up leaving it at number six. And the blade that's in there is a Gillette Platinum. Which, for some reason, these, the ones I just got in, the writing is dark. So I'm hoping they're not like counterfeit, but I think they'll be. I mean, the shade's very nice. I gotta try it probably in my in my Rockwell to find out what the deal is. But that's the Gillette Platinum blade right there, and it's uh, it was nice. I mean, I think I did have two weeps, but that was from a prior shave, so. Nothing to do with this shave. With the shave here. Right, I'm just going to wipe off the top cap. Of the Rex Ambassador. I do wipe down my razors later. I don't just like wipe them off real fast now. Usually when I'm editing my video, I kind of sit there and while it's compiling, I uh, take the old Q-tips and the other microfiber cloth and I wash, wipe it down. Nice. Well, I am totally BBS there, let me tell you. All right, so real quick before I wipe this alum off, 
I used the Craving Shaving Brush today. The green and black one with the That Darn Rob Fanchurian knot there with those awesome gel tips. I know it's lathering and you probably can't see it, but yeah, good stuff. I'm not going to waste your time with me rinsing out all my gear like I usually do because I lathered today on camera, so. But anyway, that's those awesome gel tips in there. It's a great brush. I still have to fully wash it out. I do have some soap left in the old timeless bowl, but hey, when don't I have that stuff left? All right, so let me just move that blade out of there so I can cut my finger later. All right, let me wash this alum off the face. Hopefully those little weeps will stay closed. And it gives me a chance to use the old Lancaster Razor Works towel, which is nice. This piece comes off so you can hang it. A little nice leather piece there. And there's no there's no nasty labels on here that'll catch your face. Just a awesome. Oh my god, this is so soft. Just a nice soft pillowy towel. Which now smells like wool like. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. That's plush. Plush, I guess I'll leave the link to this to his Etsy shop. He's probably out of them, but I know he said he was gonna put more up on the site. I got lucky. I was like the last one to grab it on the day he put re he refilled his stock. So yeah, it's a nice towel. That's good stuff. I still have to find a home for this because I don't have a free hook in my bathroom to hang this up. Plus, I'm afraid if I leave it out in the open, the kids will use it. So, yeah, it's nice. It's got that nice little clip on it there, so you can just hang it up. It's got a nice little leather piece right there. Cool towel. For now, I'm just going to hang it on my clock. Did I remember to take the battery out of All right, so now my face feels nice and dry. Well, dry enough. So, I'm going to go with the Clubman Panade. As a little splash, this will definitely wake me up. Oh yeah. The old Panade. This was my splash for years. That's why I buy it in the big bottles. I actually buy it local from my barber, which I really hasn't had to visit because the hair is thin. Yes, maybe one day I'll shave the head, but <laughs> I'm not really in the mood for that kind of deal yet. All right, so that is awesome. If you're not familiar with Clubman Panade, it's a classic scent. I get it in the old big old 16 ouncer. I actually have a few of these. I also have the Osage rub or Osage. My buddy Josh is like, hey, you haven't used that in a while. Why don't you use it? That's what I was actually going to use today. But then when I smelled this and I smelled it, it kind of smells like Club Guy. I was like, I'll use that instead. All right. Now, let me just let that soak in a little bit. I love this towel. Just a little pat that dry a little bit. Get a little bit of that pinot smell on this towel. Oh, this is such a nice towel. It's like a pillowy cloud. All right, so I'm not gonna just end it with the pinot aftershave splash. I'm gonna put on some Club Guy Star Jelly. Why not, right? Wow, this complements that soap in it perfectly. I'm telling you, there's a hint of this in that group scent in that soap. You may think I'm crazy, but hey. I mean, you know, Douglas and Matt over there, you know, Razor Emporium. Well, Douglas is from PAA, but, you know, they're buddies, so maybe they shared some secrets. 
Maybe Matt stole some secret recipe? I don't know, I'm only kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Razor Emporium's sandalwood, to me, very reminiscent of the club guy. Just not as strong as far as scent. So thank you, Bill, for sending me this. I'm trying to get it straight there for you folks. Thank you for sending me this soap. It's full container. It's like four ounces in here. And it's pretty much almost four ounces. Oh, yeah, that's golden. All right, sorry we went a little long here, folks. I usually go long anyway because I'm a blabbermouth. But you can see that I had that weeper there and that one there. No more weepers. And I'm on blood thinner, so I should be going psh, 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 according to some people, but I'm not. So don't be scared if you're on blood thinners. Give it a little shot. Just don't, psh, you know, swipe yourself. Because, you know, if, I mean, if I cut my arm around the house, yeah, I bleed. Like a pig. Like a stuck pig. So... You don't have to be stuck to sticking with cartridges if you, you know, if your skin can take it. So I'm not saying everybody that's on blood thinner should go DE shaving today. I'm just saying that's the way I function. I don't let it scare me. So, hey, if you enjoyed today's Razor Emporium Sandalwood Shave, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, psh, crash and burn, Glenny. All right. And please, everybody, stay safe out there. You know, until we ride out this stupid virus thing going on. And thank you to all my subscribers. We're climbing there. You know, a couple a day will get us there for an awesome another giveaway. So, until next shave. Glenn signing off. End the sea monster.